Hi, I'm Tom Myers. I'm an application engineer with the Lincoln Electric Company. We're in Las Vegas for the 2012 Fabtech show, and I'd like to show you a typical welding applications for structural steel. This is our structural application, and we're showcasing our FlexTech 450 power source. It's in a rack system, it's in a four pack rack. Very common for field work, portability, a 450 amp power source for, for wire welding and stick welding, uh, arc gouging, very versatile power source. We have it teamed up with our Activate wire feeder. That's a, it's a newest portable suitcase style wire feeder. This one is very compact, uh, very lightweight, holds uh, 10 to 15 pound spools for maximum portability. Uh, we're also using an arc tracker, and this is a data acquisition system that can be used really with any power source to collect voltage and amperage, arc time, and, and key information on the well that you can collect. You can also hook it up through the internet to, uh, to gather the information, and uh, you could use a production monitoring system to manage that information. The wire is called InnerShield NR233, uh, very common again for structural applications, similar to our NR232, uh, a, a wire we've had in longer, uh, more established wire. 233 is a little more user friendly. Uh, we're running a 1 16th diameter, uh, again, a little smaller than the typical 072 and 564 sizes. So this 233, now both these 232, 233 are real common uh, for out of position welding. They're, they're kind of claim to fame as high deposition rates. You know, I, you think of it, it's welding is molten metal and gravity. And if you're welding in the flat position, you can really put a lot of metal down. But when you go against gravity, it's hard to have a big puddle. So this 232, 233 wire has a heavy slag system that allows you to carry a big puddle against gravity, vertical up overhead. Uh, now, but from an operator standpoint, it's a little tough to manage. You gotta manage that slag system. So I would recommend, uh, as you're going vertical up, you're gonna actually point the gun down a little bit as you come up. So you're dragging it and you're, you're watching the slag. Uh, the key really is to watch the slag, uh, manage that, you're gonna give it, it likes to run a straight progression or a stringer bead uh, with a little bit of a wiggle, a little bit of a shake that kind of flattens out the weld bead, helps you control that puddle. So that's the recommended technique for this type of wire. Right. Well, why don't we go ahead and weld with it? All right. But then, in a vertical arc, you want to have it pointing down slightly, so it's a draft at you. And it's a little bit of a wiggle. It helps flatten out that bead profile, that bead face. And I'm I'm really kind of watching the slag, I'm managing the slag, and I want it to roll ahead of the puddle. Okay, you see a little bit of a wiggle here. You don't want to go too fast, you want to stay on the leading edge of the puddle itself. Um, about a three-quarter inch stick out. Three-quarter to one inch. Flux cord wire like a little bit more of a stick out than, say, a solid wire. This, this wire has a, a heavy slag, which helps hold all that molten metal up against gravity. And uh, so there's a kind of picture of that. And let me take the slag off the weld. And again, it has a nice, nice smooth profile to the bead face. Again, a typically uh, straight stringer progression is uh, what's preferred. So, and there you go. This is NR230, NR233, commonly used for structural steel welding, and general purpose welding, all position properties. If you want any more information on these products, go to www.lincolnelectric.com. Thank you.